Good afternoon, my name is Bryce. And so often I find myself and many other people struggling with fears, past failure, finding <laughs> purpose, and finishing. First Corinthians chapter 9, verses 24 through 27, Paul states, Don't you realize that in a race everyone runs, but only one person gets the prize, so run to win. All athletes are disciplined in their training, and they do it to win a prize that will fade away, but we do it for an eternal prize. So I run with purpose in every step. I'm not just shadow boxing. I discipline my body like an athlete, training to do what it should. Otherwise, that after I, after I fear that after preaching to others, I myself might not be disqualified. I've witnessed so many people in their walk with God just start out so strong, but then fade away just as quick. Life is a marathon, not a sprint. We need to train ourselves spiritually in order to finish the race. So often we chase after prizes like acceptance, money, sex, drugs, alcohol, and many other things that will someday turn to dust. It's time we take a stand and start chasing after the eternal prize, Christ Jesus himself. Paul ups the standards in 1 Corinthians by telling us to run with purpose in every step. Not just one step, not just two steps, but in every step. Taking steps in our faith without purpose are just wasted steps. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 16 states, Make the most out of every opportunity, because the days are evil. Friends, our time is limited. We need to make the most of it today. Hebrews chapter 12, verses 1 through 3 states, Therefore, since we are surrounded by such faith, let us strip off every weight that slows us down, especially the sin that so easily trips us up. And let us run with endurance, the race that God has set before us, we do this by keeping our eyes on Jesus, the champion who initiates and perfects our faith. Because of the joy awaiting him, he endured the cross, disregarding its shame, and now he is seated in the place of honor beside God's throne. Think of the nails that he took between his hands and his feet. He did that because he had you on his heart. God provides and he calms our biggest fears and our raging seas. <laughs> So often I find myself looking back at my past failures and mistakes involving family, friendships, and relationships. Today, it's time to move forward. If we keep coming back to our past, we need to consider if we've truly left that sin. Philippians chapter 3, verses 13 and 14 states, No, dear brothers and sisters, I have not achieved it, but I focus on this one thing, forgetting the past and looking forward to what lies ahead. I press on to reach the end of the race and receive the heavenly prize for which God, through Christ Jesus, is calling us. It's time that we stop focusing on the past and start focusing on today and the things that we can control. Some, of, some more of our greatest fears are fear itself, failure, and perfection. Everyone wants to be perfect, right? Well, we're all far from it. Romans chapter 3, verse 23 states, For all have sinned, and all fall short of the glory of God. God puts trials and tribulations in our life to test our faith. We need to learn to embrace this struggle, because this struggle alone is our greatest teacher. James chapter 1, verse 3 and 4 are written, For you know that when your faith is tested, your endurance has a chance to grow. So let it grow, for when your endurance is fully developed, you will be perfect and complete. Needing and lacking nothing. God's greater than any of our struggles, fears, and failures. With God in our corner, we have nothing to be afraid of. Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10 states, Don't be afraid, for I am with you. Don't be discouraged, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will hold you up with my own victorious right hand. And finally, 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 7 states, I have fought the good fight, I have finished the race, and I have been made faithful. When you breathe your last breath, will you be able to look into God's eyes and say, Father, I have been made faithful. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah.